All right, uh, hey people, um, what's up, whatever. Uh, so I was um, checking on Facebook the other day. Actually, it was this morning. Yeah, it was this morning. And uh, I saw this interesting article uh, from redmondpie.com, which uh, they're usually on the leading edge of what's going on with um, iOS jailbreaks and um, Android rooting uh, scene. And so they're usually where I get that information from first and foremost about what's going on with those things. Anyway, they post this article and it states a uh, Nintendo Switch jailbreak teased by developer. Um, and uh, basically it says uh, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Um, the real interesting stuff is um, a tweet by Todesco with the text that's just how it does, is accompanied by a picture of a Nintendo Switch after successfully running his JB Me exploit. And uh, for those who don't know, um, he uh, helped with uh, one of the jailbreaks, I think um, 9.3, I think, or, or something of that nature. I was thinking, well, I remember uh, 3.1 and 3.0 had a exploit where you just went to a web browser and you typed in jailbreakme.com and you hit, just hit accept. And it was some exploit with the um, the uh, software to where basically it would jailbreak your device just by going to that website. I mean, you didn't even have to load any external software or anything. You just went to the website and it did it. That uh, given the fact that the Switch is literally eight days old, there is definitely no jailbreak or homebrew community already set up for this hardware. But with that in mind, it basically means that in the current state, having access doesn't specifically allow the average owner of the Switch to do a great deal. But it does show what is actually possible with this current version of the Switch hardware and firmware. And it could potentially open up the door for developers to seriously consider building non-official software tweaks and experiences for Nintendo's latest hardware. Which to me, this is very exciting because my number one gripe with the hardware is uh, no external saves. Um, and for having a mobile device that plays games, to me that's very important. If I put 100 hours into my Legend of Zelda game and, you know, um, it gets stolen, I get mugged, you know, whatever, I just lost all 100 hours of that gameplay, boom, gone. That's it. Um, it'd be nice if there was some cloud save feature or something like this. So it'd be cool if they uh, set up a um, an application to where you could drop a, a copy of your save on your Google Drive or your OneDrive or... Um, iCloud, something like that. And then if, you know, the unforeseen happens, you know, you get in a car wreck, the car blows up, um, you uh, you get mugged on the street, um, your house burns down, I mean, you know, whatever. Um, at least you would have some recourse to uh, back up your game. I know Microsoft does cloud saves, so you're safe there. Um, I think Sony does cloud saves. I can't quite remember. Um, I haven't really thought about it with Sony. It just seems weird because, you know, with a home console, I don't really think about something like, you know, it being stuck in your car if something happens or it being on your person getting mugged on the street or something like that, you know. Basically, your saves are safe as long as your house doesn't burn and some idiot doesn't break in. Um, so uh, there's... I was really excited to see this. Um, I'll link the article and an accompanying article that goes a little bit more technically in depth uh, in the description. But uh, so, what are your thoughts? I mean, to me, this is pretty exciting because Nintendo is not granting us any sort of uh, cloud safe capability. So, it'd be pretty cool to have cloud safe capability, uh, or at least to be able to save to an SD card and remove and take it with you. But uh, I don't really have much else. I'm wanting to do a full on. Um, review of the Switch later, maybe tomorrow. And I'd also like to do a uh, kind of a review on um, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's not going to be a full-on review because I haven't beat it. Um, there may or may not be spoilers. I don't know. It just kind of depends on how in-depth I want to go. But uh, I really want to talk about that game. I really want to talk about that game. And I kind of want to talk about the hardware itself, but I really want to talk about that game. But uh, I guess I don't have much else. I just thought that I would share this for those of you who are unaware. The Switch has already been jailbroken. And so, uh, barring Nintendo patching this exploit with the next firmware upgrade, uh, this could lead to some very interesting things in the future. So, uh, thanks for watching and peace out.